from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC Chief Meteorologist Ron Roberts. You know, we, we did have a little heating this afternoon, but a lot of other ingredients just didn't come together for these showers to pop up and to remain. Now, uh, anytime you start, to, well, well, when you have a lot of moisture that we have in the atmosphere and you have maybe a little bit of convergence and you get a couple of showers to pop up. Yeah, it's possible, but you have to have a lot of other ingredients to keep them going. And that's what's been missing so far this afternoon. They go up and then they lose their intensity. This shower near Brownfield to the north of Seminole. I mean, look pretty good, but you, you probably notice how just low top these are because I know you, our viewers here at KMAC Weather, they are experienced and watch what happens to these showers to the north of Lubbock. They are gone rather south of Lubbock. They are gone and north of Lubbock. It's gone. So they go up. They look pretty impressive for 15, 30 minutes and then they're out of here. And that's what we we'll expect for the remainder of the afternoon. This one to the west of Brownfield, by the way, is, is not moving. It's just sitting there right on US 380. So there might be some water trying to accumulate on the highway. Otherwise, these spotty thunder showers that we looked at on our new sky view in Seminole, and we'll introduce one that's also new in Lovington, New Mexico. As we build our area of sky views to the west, where storms normally initiate and move into our area. So that's what we're seeing right now in northern Gaines County. The Wolfworth Live Sky View is part of the Metro Lubbock area matrix that keeps an eye on the southwest side, and you can see the showers here the blues, but very little rainfall is showing up so far on this sky view. Here we go with temperatures this afternoon, and we did knock the numbers up a bit. Rawls, 89 degrees, Littlefield, 92 degrees. <laughs> it's warm. Wolfworth, 86 degrees right now, while Lubbock, 82nd, and Quaker, 87 degrees. KFYO Studios in Seminole at 91. Uh, the forecast model HRRR did initiate yesterday and again today a couple of showers but we really didn't hit it too hard because they're going to be so uh, limited in their exposure to us nevertheless we'll probably more than likely by tomorrow get a little of instability going by the afternoon and there you go a few thunderstorms one very close to lubbock as you can see for tomorrow uh, really this more significant precipitation event is going to hang on Jet stream flow, here we go. This is the trough Friday to the west of us. This trough will lift, and then another major system is gonna set up to the west of us on Sunday. That's the one that's really gonna get us. By the way, this system also is allowing cold air to move to the northwestern half of the United States, so cold that a blizzard may form. Not here, not here. Make sure you heard me. I'm talking about places like Montana and Idaho, but interesting weather segments on the way. Now, Sunday, about 1 o'clock, 1900 of an inch and a few thunder showers going to 2400 of an inch. Note, by Monday night, thunderstorms increasing over to Mexico. Well, that European model then begins to push it closer to us as we get into Tuesday and our rain chance going up. So the 6 to 10 day outlook on precipitation well above average in New Mexico, the western southern plains, also to the north of us. And again, some of this may be in the form of snow. And yes, uh, with La Nina, it could be an interesting year. We'll keep an eye on that. Marissa, you got yourself a rain gauge in the Wildcat. Rolly rain gauge giveaway. We were with Wildcat last week, giving away a lot of rain gauges. Temperature tonight, 66 degrees. You know what? It's still a little muggy out there. Wind southwest, light. Seven day forecasting. Here are the numbers of 93, 91, and we're going to go ahead and put that 10% in on Saturday, 86. Uh-oh, there that rain chance goes up, cool front on the way. All right, 80 on Monday, Wednesday, 81, rain chance by even now uh, on Wednesday is higher. And that 81 degrees is where we're going right now because of climatology, in other words, climate history, but it could be cooler. Ooh, I mean, like a high of only 60, 65. Is that right? Just, just throwing it out there. So this is, that, that's a serious business action there on Wednesday. It's, it's possible. Oh I just want you to know it's possible. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. You're welcome. All right.